Hello, this is Bob Cook doing a small presentation on bipolar disorder transaction analysis treatment plan. Okay, the first thing is to create a working alliance with the person, uh, the most important thing. So that means listen to their story, uh, lots of phenomenological inquiry, uh, making sure you're tuned through pacing, rhythm, and of course cognitive attunement and make sure you involve yourself through active listening showing curiosity and being there for the client that will get you um, a long way in terms of trust um, getting a good therapeutic stance to start from and then from there um, you must look really for the eager state presentation with the person of the you know, bipolar presentation. They'll have a high parent ego state. Uh, they'll be um, coming from that in an active way in terms of beliefs and what should be the way and what shouldn't be the way. The child ego state will come out in an adapted way through um, over compliance or over rebelliousness. And they uh, won't have access really to the adult ego state in a robust way. In other words, it will be quite a fragile ego state presentation in terms of um, solving problems, thinking clearly, and um, of course resolution and success. Okay, let's go on to script analysis. So if you think of script analysis, which is a major TA diagnosis, you'll see the injunctions that are present are usually don't, uh, don't be, don't feel, don't be yourself, don't be close, don't make it, and probably a don't exist. In terms of programming, uh, the parent models the fact the problems can't be solved. Moving on, the early life decisions will probably be central to this. I will try hard to get things done, but I will never make it. I can do anything but I will never do it well enough to succeed. I'm bad and I'm not okay. So how is the script played out? Well, on the manic side, the person will be involved in excessive activity to avoid being depressed. On the depressed side, the client reports trying not to get invested in anything for fear of not being able to do it well enough and re-experiencing being told they're not okay. Clinical focus uh, in terms of TA, helping them connect past to present, most important desensitizing internalized parent ego states, helping the child have sense of empowerment and take back um, their own truth helping with the confusion of child ego state, which means looking at uh, how it was from when they were a kid, in terms of healing, and helping them be clear on um, how, to, how to solve problems, to take power, and to um, develop their own sense of robust adult. Then we move to new re-decisions that they will make, um, and let go of the old ones, which is usually about they can't make it, they've got no power, they feel worthless, and they then reintegrate their new redecisions, which is about that they can think they are important, um, they can make it, they can be successful, and they can actually succeed in the projects that they put forward. Uh, and new redecisions like um, cutting down back on work, um, not working so hard, having fun in their life, being connected to people, slowing down. Uh, they need to reintegrate these decisions into their life and put a new script on the road, with the help of the therapist, of course. 